Hello. Um, we're continuing with um, uh, studying my notes for um, life science uh, in a nutshell. So this is um, um, cell biology. We're learning about the cytoskeleton shown here in this beautiful picture. We have um, uh, asters. An aster is a, it's a type of the cytoskeleton. So um, here in blue is the nucleus. So it's the most prominent part of the cell in the center. And in the, in, um, then the rest of the cytoskeleton is shown. All the fibers that hold the cell intact and um, aid with um, intracellular um, mobility and mo movement of molecules and inter intercellular uh, communication and signaling between cells such as in tissues etc so it says asters are radial microtubule arrays found in animal cells these uh, star-shaped structures form around each pair of centrioles during mitosis. Asters help to manipulate chromosomes during cell division to ensure that each daughter cell has the appropriate complement of chromosomes. The, they consist of aster microtubules They're gen that are generated from cylindrical microtubules called centrioles, which we saw earlier. Centrioles are found within um, the centrosome, an organelle located near the cell nucleus that forms the spindle poles. Um, so uh, this is the spindle shown here. Um, the chromosomes are more in the center where the green is and the purple is the spindle fibers that help with pulling of chromosomes. This is showing this, what the centriole structure looks like in 3D that um, help with them. Um, this is, well, this is the substructure. So, um, that it's a ring of nine triplets. It's a fiber protein. Um, so that's what makes up the um, centrosome and interacts with the spindle. And um, and all that bastards. Um, when you need to pull apart the cell, cell into two cells and split the genetic material up into uh, asters are vital processes, vital to processes uh, such as um, mitosis and meiosis or cell division. They are a component of the spindle apparatus, which also includes spindle fibers motor proteins um, which help with the movement um, and uh, chromosomes. Asters help to organize and position the sp spindle apparatus during cell division. They determine the site of cleavage furrow that splits dividing cell into half during cytokinesis or when the cytoplasm splits into two um, during cell division. Um, and during the cell cycle, asters form around central pairs located at each cell pole. Microtubules um, called polar fibers are generated, generated from each centrosome, which lengthens and elongates the cell. Other spindle fibers um, attach to and move chromosomes during cell division. Um, Asters in mitosis initially appear in prophase. They form around each central pair. They organize spindle fibers extending from cell poles, which are polar fibers, and fibers attaching to chromosomes at their kinetic cores in the middle. Um, spindle fibers move chromosomes to the center of the cell during metaphase. Chromosomes are kept in place at the metaphase plate by the equal forces of the spindle fibers pushing on the centromeres of the chromosomes. Polar fibers extending 
from the poles interact interlock um <clears throat> like fingers of folded hands so duplicated chromosomes or sister chromatids are separated and are pulled toward opposite ends of the cell during anaphase the separation is accomplished as spindle fibers shorten pulling attached chromatids along with them in telophase, spindle fibers break down and separated chromosomes are um, enveloped within their own nuclear envelope within the separate cells. The final step um, of cell division, oh, okay, this is the, in the final step of cytokinesis, um, where the cytoplasm separates, dividing the cell into two, new, two daughter cells. So first you have um, two separate nuclei, then the cytoplasm splits as well. So you have two separate cells in the final step. In animal cells, a contractile ring of filaments, microfilaments, forms a cleavage furrow that pinches the cell into two. The position of the furrow is determined by the asters. The cleavage furrow. Asters induce cleavage furrow formation due to interaction with the cell cortex. So the cell cortex is found directly beneath the plasma membrane and consists of actin filaments and associated proteins. So it's the cytoskeleton um, right underneath the plasma membrane. Um, so, um, so in the exterior of the cell. Um, during this course of cell division, asters grow, growing from centrioles, extend their microtubules um, toward to one another, microtubules from nearby asters in connect, interconnect, which helps to limit expansion and cell size. Some aster microtubules continue to extend until contact is made with the cortex. In this contact with the cortex, that induces the formation of a cle cleavage furrow. Um, asters help to position cleavage furrows, so cytoplasmic division results into two evenly divided cells. The cell cortex is responsible for producing the contractile ring, con constricting the cell, pinching it into two. Cleavage furrow formation and cytokinesis are essential for proper development of cell tissues and for um, proper development of an organism as a whole. So this is important. So as for cell division and multiplication, here in the picture you see the asters. So in the rest of the spindle apparatus, you have the chromosomes in the middle. So it's a very nice picture showing how the cells um, divide during cell division and chromosome um, division. Here we have an exterior, an exterior view from the outside of the cell membrane, how the cell is splitting and the cytokinesis occurs. After nuclear division or mitosis, um, the two daughter nuclei um, and identical cells are formed. So, and uh, here, an animal cell undergoing cytokinesis. So, daughter cells are cells resulting from division of a single parent cell produced by division process of mitosis and meiosis. Uh, cell division is reproductive mechanism, how um, allowing living organisms to grow, to develop, and to produce offspring. Um, at the completion of the mitotic cell cycle, a cell single cell divides from two daughter cells. A parent cell undergoing um, meiosis produces um, four daughter cells. So I will learn a little bit more about the difference between mitosis and meiosis. And um, at the completion of mitotic cell cycle, single cell divides forming two daughter cells. A parent cell undergoing meiosis produces four daughter cells. Mitosis occurs in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic organisms. Meiosis occurs only in eukaryotic animal cells, plant cells, and fungi. In this picture, you see where the division of the, the one cell into two 
we'll continue in the next